sponsored by MMORC, the last shop for your video games purchasing. So the other day I came across a UV cell phone sanitizer on Amazon which costed about 60 to 70 dollars and in Pakistan about 5000 rupees thanks to COVID-19 up to 20,000 rupees which made me thinking that why not shall I make my own DIY UV cell phone sanitizer which if not exactly the same will work almost identical to the costly ones but in a fraction of price and actually I made one you'll see that in a moment and while the professional good looking sleek and portable uv phone sanitizers cost about thousands of rupees you can make your own uv phone sanitizer in just under 1000 rupees or you can say less than 10 dollars with none else but a box a uv light strips some tape glue a plastic sheet micro usb cables and a usb power adapter let's make a diy phone sanitizer Let's start with a box, shall we? You need a box big enough to fit a phone in it, but not too much deep. Keep it shallow. In my case, I had a styrofoam box lying around, but that was deep, so I had to cut it to make it shallow. You can use a wooden or plastic box for the same purpose if you have one at your disposal. And once the box is cut shallow enough to fit a phone inside, smoothen the edges to make sure the top part sits perfectly on the bottom part. I'm not much of a DIY guy myself, so I, if you're not sure, you'll get the idea to make a better project than mine. Next comes the UV light attachment. These UV light strips are the ones you can find with the UV glue cured glass screen protectors for your smartphones. I was not sure if this UV light for curing glue is good enough to kill the pathogens, so I did a bit of googling and I found that it was perfectly fit for the job. How is that? I'll explain that in a moment, but first let's hear from our sponsor for today's video. It's quarantine days guys and spending the entire day at home indoors is kind of boring. And while there are many hobbies to take, I guess gaming is still a preference for many of you guys. And while games on Steam, Origin, PSN and other stores are expensive for us most of the time, I'm thankful to today's sponsor. MMORC makes buying game keys simpler, cheaper, and easier. Their website is full of best game deals and they provide authentic game and software keys at far less prices. The software includes tons of antiviruses, Windows and Office legitimate license keys, and much more. All of those keys are genuine and 100% lifetime. Let me walk you through the process of making a purchase too. Sign up on MMORC, search for the best game deal and proceed to check out and use code ZEF35 to get 35% off on all software keys and check out with one of many payment options. Let me say that again. Sign up on MMORC.com, use code ZEF35 to get flat 35% off on all software purchases which drops the Windows 10 license keys to just the price of about $10 and Office 2019 Pro license key to about $47. And yes, they are all lifetime activated. More details on MMORC.com. The whole process is pretty simple, but if you still feel yourself in a jam, just use their live chat support. It's a lifesaver. All the set details are in the description below. Thanks to MMORC. For sponsoring this video and keep gaming my friends the uv light for photochemical reaction to cure glue is about the frequency of 240 to 270 nanometers while the sweet spot for uv light frequency to kill pathogens uh, viruses and bacteria included is about 264 nanometer so with that information to work with if we expose the phone for about 10 seconds with the uv light found with the uv glass screen protectors we can kill the pathogens without damaging our skin or phone itself. Pretty sweet, huh? Now use the glue to attach the UV lights on bottom of the box as well as on the inside of the lid. Pass the micro USB cables from the box and the lid and tape them to prevent premature detachment as the glue is 
still wet at the moment. Now use the cling film on the top of the base and fix it permanently with glue. You can also use glass, acrylic or plastic sheet if you have one. They will serve the same purpose even better. Now put the top part of the box on top and fix it with glue and tape its sides just to be sure. Let the glue dry for a while and that's all. Your DIY UV font sanitizer is ready. It is not the most beautiful and most elegant looking UV font sanitizer in the world but hey, it performs almost identical to the costly ones but for a fraction of price. I haven't performed any culture sensitivity test for bacteria growth on it but I'll definitely do those to check how good it really is and will share the results on my social media handles so make sure to follow me there to stay updated. And please subscribe to Zephyrs Gaming to support my efforts. Until next time my friends, take care, goodbye.